a new feature I've just added into Case Stars Focus, uh, which I'm calling Focus Optimization. So uh, there's, you know, basically I love autofocus as much as anyone, um, but uh, depending on how you configured your schedule and I guess sort of other things that are going on, uh, it can be the case that autofocus runs more often than is really necessary. And this feature will allow um, the user to configure how to potentially optimize away some of those um, possibly redundant autofocuses that may occur. So probably the best way to show you how this works is to run uh, a simple schedule now without um, the uh, without the feature turned on and then to rerun it with the feature turned on and show you um, the differences. So here's a, a very, very simple schedule I've set up. Um, it's probably unrealistic. I don't think anyone would ever run a schedule like this, but um, it will illustrate the point. So there's uh, four jobs. Um, there's just one exposure in each of them, a cent one 10 second exposure for each of these four filters. So luminance, um, if I look at the filter settings pop up, is configured to run autofocus. Um, red is configured to run an autofocus, but it's locked to luminance, which means that um, uh, a fo an autofocus run on red will actually run on luminance and then it will offset by uh, 10 ticks. Green just runs an autofocus itself. Blue uh, is not configured for autofocus and it will just use filter offsets. So if I just run that, um, so I'm running it from the schedule, um, but uh, you know, equally you could just run this from capture if you wanted. The first thing it's gonna do is focus. Um, so it's running an autofocus on luminance. Um, I've kind of set this autofocus up just to have five points. Uh, it's probably an unrealistically small number for, for real life, but um, the reason I've done that is just to speed up the, uh, the video. So it's completed. Um, it's uh, basically gonna do the, uh, uh, the alignment, then it's gonna go into the schedule. Now, the first thing in the schedule is a, uh, a luminance job. So it's now gonna run another autofocus on luminance. So this is potentially um, an unnecessary autofocus because uh, an autofocus and luminance happened literally a few seconds ago. So it's now taking that one 10 second exposure on luminance and it'll move on to red. Okay, so it's moved to red. Now it's, all, it's, it's basically rerunning autofocus. Now because red is locked to luminance, it's running an autofocus again on luminance. Um, so again, in this scenario, you know, you could argue that this, this autofocus is, is somewhat redundant because we already had a good solution from a few seconds ago. So it's autofocused for red. It's now going to run the, uh, the 10 second um, sub and then move on to green. So green is configured just to autofocus on itself. So it's now running an autofocus on green. So uh, again, this one is probably a sensible uh, autofocus run because uh, we haven't focused on green before. So it's completed that and it's taking the green exposure. So we'll just wait for that 10 second exposure and then it'll move on to blue. So blue just has filter offsets and there's a 30 tick dis um, inward movement between blue and green. So it's taken the, uh, the green result and, and, uh, and uh, moved in. So that's um, pretty much how you would how things work today with uh, with the feature switched off so the new feature um, incorporates a timestamp that's logged with each of the successful autofocus runs um, which you can see on the filter offsets tab um, you know you can edit this I can't imagine that you in normal operation would need to but you can edit the field if you need to um, the fields also available in the uh, the equipment writer tab. I'll just show you where that is. So under the optical trains, if you click on this telescopes and lenses and go to filter, you have all the information of the filters here. So 
in the same way as you can edit the information in filter settings if you wanted to you could edit it in the equipment writer so there's a new field here and um, also back on the settings configuration within focus there's a new field optimize af so by default it's set to zero which effectively turns the um, feature off but if i set it to say five minutes um, what that's going to do is establish a time zone of five minutes um, for the autofocus. So when an autofocus request comes in, it'll determine from this timestamp in filter settings whether or not a previous autofocus had completed successfully within whatever time zone you put. So in this case, within five minutes. If so, it won't rerun autofocus. It will optimize it out um, and uh move the focuser to the appropriate place for that um for the filter if there isn't an autofocus within the time zone that's been set so you know let's say for instance um the previous one was six minutes ago it would run autofocus as normal so let's go ahead and rerun the uh the sequence let's get rid of the old data So if I go back to filter and just clear that, you can see what's um, what's going to happen. You start to get these messages, autofocus request luminance optimized out. So what that means is that um, the autofocus for the initial um, focus setup has been optimized away. Um, it's done a, another, uh, it's gone into luminance and it's optimized the, uh, the, the second um, autofocus on luminance out. It's done a similar thing on red because previously we already have a, um, an autofocus for red or luminance because it's locked to luminance. Same thing for green and you know we're on to blue. So basically in this scenario where I'm rerunning a schedule, um, it's got straight into uh, the job of capture um, using previously um, good autofocus runs. So that's kind of how this thing works. Um, obviously, uh, it's quite useful, or theoretically, it's going to be quite useful at the start of a, a schedule. So if you, for instance, ran a uh, started up a schedule, um, realized there was some issue and stopped it and had to restart it, this would be a way of um, you know, benefiting from the autofocuses that you may have done the first time round and reutilizing uh, or reusing those out the outputs from those um, to get going a bit quicker. Um, I think, as I mentioned, mentioned earlier, if you set this to zero, you set, you know, you deactivate the feature uh, and you need to set it to something, you know, reasonably sensible for your equipment. I've put five minutes, you know, um, you know, five or ten minutes if you, you know, is probably a sufficiently small amount of time that. Uh, you know any auto focuses are going to should be giving you the same amount the same result um so it makes sense or theoretically could make sense to uh, optimize them out within that sort of time range uh, but you can set it to whatever you know whatever number you want so the the sorts of auto focuses that are optimized out are automated ones from the scheduler or just from running in in capture so there'll be things like an auto focus on filter change or you know, um, for instance, if you uh, set up an autofocus um, on, you know, time, let's say, um, and, you know, the time-based autofocus coincides very closely with, let's say, a filter change, then you could end up with two autofocuses very close together. And again, this would be a scenario where this feature might jump in and, and, and stop that second autofocus from running. Um, a manual autofocus though so if you just went into filter into the the filter tab and ran it or if you um, uh, if you selected the uh, the force autofocus here that will always run a full autofocus um, so um, any sort of manual um, type activity um, is is just going to bypass the uh, the optimization process um, I think, as I mentioned, also when we were going through this, the if you any, any um, autofocus run that's optimized the way will always 
um, on a filter offsets that have been set up between the filters. Um, and also if you make use of adaptive focus, um, for example, for temperature compensation, if you have the adapt start position option ticked here, then the optimization process will honor any, for example, temperature changes um, that may have happened over two or three minutes between the last um, time autofocus was run and where the optimization process is, uh, is kicking in. So if you have this option set, um, the optimized process will do what you would expect um, from adaptive focus in terms of temperature and or altitude optimization. So this is the feature. Um, it's uh, it's in bleeding edge case stars now. So uh, it's a obviously it's a new um, experimental type feature. So if you'd like to try it, give it a go. Let me know what you think.